Hello there, I'm Simon Hackney and um, today we're going to be doing some sort of evening or early morning painting I think. Uh, as normal I haven't got anything planned out, we'll just start applying the paint and see how we go. Here we've got a box canvas and um, it's been primed with black gesso and I've taped around the edges to give us a um, mount or mask effect when the actual painting is finished. Along here I've taped roughly where my horizon line is going to go. Okay, um, we'll start applying some paint. These are all oils and um, we'll see how we go, see how we get on. Okay, on the, uh, on the actual palette, I've just got a basic palette set out here. I don't know if we'll use all the colours or add to them. Um, but so far on the palette, we've got Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Sienna, Alizarin in Crimson, Indian Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Phalo Green, Phalo Blue, Prussian Blue, two lots of white, one for mixing, one for pure white, and black. We're going to start by applying some liquid clear over the canvas. So, taking a two inch brush, this is hogshair bristle, into the liquid clear. We're just going to apply quite sparingly a thin even coat of liquid clear. Taking a one inch brush, okay, and this obviously hogs have brush again. I'm going to go into some Prussian blue. Okay, and I've worked that well up into the bristles. And um, up in the corners here, I'm just going to start applying some Prussian blue quite loosely all around the top edge of the sky here. Like so. And without washing the brush, I'm going to go into some phthalo blue and tap some as I did before, so it's just tapped up into the bristles and start adding some phthalo blue quite randomly here and there across the sky. So now with a clean brush, I'm going to go into Indian Yellow. And these colours are going to actually blend with what's on the canvas. Without washing that brush, I'm going to go into Cadmium Red. down a little bit with my two inch brush, clean two inch brush. I'm going to start down here and I'm going to start just blending this out. Now this will probably all change as we go through the painting. This is just to give me a start idea of some sort of sky. So, now going into white, I'm going to start adding some white to the canvas and I'm going to start here, a lightest sort of area and work my way out. And you'll see as I do this, all of the colours that are already on the canvas will start to blend with the white. 
and you've got all these lovely tones of blues and everything else coming through here now. And I'm just using crisscross strokes to do this. Blending up the sky area. And of course, the more white you add, the lighter this will become. Let's just blend it. So with my fan brush, I'm going to go into Prussian Blue. We loaded the fan brush with Prussian blue and we're going to start having a few indications of clouds running across here. Okay, and all I'm doing now I'm just scrubbing these in really with the, with the edge of the brush. Okay. Not being too fussy about it, of course. I'm just going to turn the brush around and actually bring something in down there. Okay, a small round hogshead brush. I'm just going to blend the bottoms of these cloud areas into the actual painting. little circular motions here and there just to blend them back into the sky and same this end and these little wispy bits here just the bottoms blend them into the actual canvas so I'm letting the colours mix here at the bottom of the clouds, so they're actually mixing with the sky colours. Now, with our fan brush again, or a different fan brush, I'll use that one. It's got um, it's quite sparsely bristled. This one. I'm going to go into some white. And just here and there on the tops of the clouds just add a little white here and there Just letting the colours blend, not being too particular about it. And then back in with our small hog's hair. And just gently blend the bottom of those into our cloud areas here so they don't look so harsh.
Just give us some sort of cloudy thing going on. Soften them up. Same down here, just a very light blend, not much at all really. Now taking my softening brush, I'm going to go back over this and I'm just going to fluff these clouds up and start to give our sky some sort of direction, maybe that the wind's blowing, some general movement just on the tops of these clouds, just very, very, very gently here, hardly touching the canvas. And I think right up in the top of the sky there, there might be one or two stars showing. So to do that, I'm going to take a flat hog's hair, well actually it's a filbert, this one, hog's hair, in some thinners, mix it with a little of the white, we leave quite a runny texture, inky texture, and then up here we may just have <laughs> too many some stars showing through there using some pure white we'll just have a bigger star here and there maybe one there one there Somewhere, maybe up there. That's not too shabby at all. That's a beautiful sky, actually. It's lovely. Right, okay. Um, what I was using to actually put those stars on, I've got a really old brush here. Okay, really scrubby, I'll worn out, there's no bristle left on it. And I've actually got the other end, I mean you could use anything, anything that's sharp, you could use a pencil if it came to it. I just put the end of the brush in a pencil sharpener and sharpened it down. And I just dip the very tip in paint and it just allows me to put a nice little neat dot on there without worrying about bristles moving and spoiling it. It's just literally dot it on and take it off. And it's a great way of painting stars. Right, so I'm going to go back into a tiny bit of liquid clear. And there's a tiny bit as well. And with a, a flat hog's hair. I'm just going to move the existing liquid clear up to the horizon line. I'm just making sure the canvas is wet all over so that when we start applying our paint down here below the horizon we don't get too many blending issues Good blend, like so. Now, into white. When we add white to this, of course, it will mix with the colour that's already on the canvas. Okay, so we're going to go into our lightest area here. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just going to blend this out towards the edges of the canvas. Looks almost like a long exposure photograph at the moment. And a very, very, very slow sea running. That's uh, that's quite nice. That's quite attractive. I think we'll have taking my filbert brush and going into Prussian blue over here somewhere there might be a, a headland coming out onto the horizon there I might just add just a small bit of the pinky light here, just here and there, on top of our land area over here. Okay, with a blender I'm just going to actually pull that down to show the structure of the land. So they're cliffs running downwards, running down towards the sea. Okay, and that's it. That's that. It doesn't need any more than that. I think we'll take the rest of the tape off and see what we're going to do in the foreground. Some beach. I think the beach will come in from the edge of the canvas along here. Okay, I'm not going right to the bottom. or something here in a minute and some beach just generally running out in this direction right into some brown I just have some sort of stony thing happening there. With a knife, I'm going to mix some of those brains and some Prussian blue, give me a really dark blend of paint. And we're going to go up here and Start adding some texture to our rocks. Like so
Oh, it's already gone quiet in here, isn't it? Okay, what I'm actually doing here is trying to concentrate on um, getting these rocks in, how I'd like them, in the foreground. And um, by putting stuff in the foreground here, of course, but it gives depth to the painting. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here. How successfully remains to be seen, but uh, that's what we're trying to do. Right, uh, it seems to me that there's a small wave appearing on the painting there. Okay, for anybody that needs to um, learn wave techniques, here's a small wave on the painting. Right, okay, what I've got here, I've got a shadow colour and I've got a highlight colour. So this is the foamy bit on the top of the wave. I'm just going to take my hog's hair and just gently blend those together. Down here. Like so. I'm just going to move that so that it's got a direction. Very similar to the tops of clouds, but this time in small range strokes. Just so that it's got a direction. It's actually blending that. Okay, so we can see some sort of movement on the sea there. Just blending that slightly. There, so that's into the white, into some white spirit just to make like an inky runny wash. And then just here, I'm just going to add a little bit of spray. Just coming up, maybe over the rocks here. With the blending brush, I'm just going to blend this down. Give some direction to the spray, make it look like it's actually been thrown up into the air. Right, and there's some white. And then over the top here, we're just going to have another little Just crashing over there somewhere. Just on the side of these rocks. Breaking there over the top. Bit of foam. About there. Like so. Taking once again our rain hogs hair, we're just going to blend that as we did earlier. Blend the two together. Just gently. brush we're just going to draw this down just to give us the hint of the shape of the wave just the hint of the shape of the wave underneath there we need another little surf line down in there Maybe one or two stones in there. Just 
So we've got the dark stone colour one side and white the other. And with the white side uppermost, we're just going to lay in the indication of a few rocks here and there. So, with a small blending brush, I could even use this actually, the hog's hair, hog's hair will be ideal for this. I'm just going to blend the bottoms of these stones. So it looks like they're actually on the beach. The sand running up them or whatever, just buried in the beach rather than just floating on the top. We're nearly done. So I think the last thing I need to do is get a liner brush, some thinners and into some of our rock colour. I'm just going to paint a hint of some water maybe running down. I think really the only thing left to do on here now is a signature. So, okay, um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it didn't really turn out how I expected it to, but then my paintings seldom do. Um, I tend to start them and then they take my life in a direction all of their own. So, um, if you did like it, Give it a thumbs up, please. Don't forget to um, have a look in all the details below and um, leave me any comments you'd like to. Also, if you'd like to visit the website, please do. And um, that's it, I'll see you next time.